hey chem class um sorry we're starting off week two this way i hope to be back in school soon um, to see you guys but i wanted to give you a little mini assignment but before i tell you about the mini assignment um, first please check your email make sure you get the ebook for chemistry you're going to need that very soon i'm going to start doing lectures and I, I need you to do some readings out of the textbook so just make sure you don't delete it and get it all set up so when I give you a reading assignment, you're ready to go. Okay, so your little mini assignment today, it's going to be on Google Classroom. Um, it is going to be over this handsome fella. His name is Ira Remsen. So this guy, he, um, he became a physician and quickly after he received his medical degree, he um, he didn't want to practice medicine and he wanted to pursue his passion in chemistry. So he actually founded the chemistry department at Johns Hopkins University. And um, he was really passionate about education and teaching the next generation about um, performing experiments and making observations and how to do it the proper way. So he actually had read in his textbook about nitric acid um, reacting with copper. So he's he was just really perplexed. He's like, I don't understand how this happens. I'm just going to, I'm going to do this experiment. He, so he sees this um, bottle of nitric acid in the physician's office and he decides to perform this experiment. Um, now he used a penny that was created before 1983. You can see on the screen, he was born in 1846 and died in 1927. So um, before 1983, pennies were made purely of copper. Now after 1983, that's not the case. This is because it cost more to make pennies um, out of copper than they're worth, so it didn't make any sense. So today, actually, pennies are made of zinc, and it's um, got more of a copper foil wrapped around it. That's just for fun for you to know. Um, but so yeah, pennies today are not made of copper. But anyway, so for this experiment, you need a real copper penny and you need nitric acid. Okay, so that's just a little background information about this fella. Um, you are going to find the hyperdoc that I created, read the background information on Ira Remsen, and um, think about the purpose for the experiment. Why am I having you watch this experiment? And I'll just tell you the, the purpose is for you to learn how to make careful observations about a chemical reaction. So you're actually going to watch a demonstration. I found a pretty short video for you, so you don't have to spend a lot of time. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about this. Um, I felt like this teacher did a really good job reading an actual journal entry from Ira and his thoughts as he performed the experiment. Um, so I want you to watch this video. You may have to pause it um, as you answer the question. So you want to go to observation document, click on this hyperlink, and it will take you to the document. Now it's going to explain to you the reaction. I don't expect you to understand this reaction at this point, but I have it here. Um, so it's basically what is happening is a copper penny is reacting with nitric acid to produce this solution and also this nitrogen gas, which you're gonna see is a color gas. And just as a side note, any colored gas is poisonous. So um, this teacher is performing the experiment underneath a hood where it's ventilating the gas because it's poisonous. Now do your best to answer these questions, um, one through four. You may work with a partner and just talk about it, okay? This is for fun. This is a little classwork grade. So um, just see what you can do to get out of this, um, this assignment. Now look at the second slide. Anytime you do an experiment, you want to think about the experimental design. There are certain things you have to follow when performing an experiment. It says chemistry investigations start with a testable question that is used to design an experiment that allows you to collect and analyze data. So you start with a testable question, which is the same thing as a hypothesis. Um, it has to be testable. It's not just a question, but a testable question. Now, um, Ira Remsen, his testable question was, 
Hopefully you can figure it out, but it has to do with um, how copper, um, how nitric acid re reacts with copper. Now there's one thing he had missing in his experiment. Um, if, but just by reading this, hopefully you can realize what he was missing and, and we can talk about that. Um, please turn this in at the end of the day um, for a small classwork grade. Thank you. Bye guys.